ever stop for a minute and think while we see some black actors always playing the role of a junkie, drug dealer, or a fiend, or some of our black male actors wearing dresses, or our black women being over-sexualized in movies and TV, and even most hip-hop artists, but not all, whenever they got something to sell, it's always targeted at the black community, and it's always something like liquor or weed, nothing to edify or enrich your life. Of course you should know if you haven't by now, it's an agenda on the black community by the elite people in power. But actors, musicians, and entertainers could say no or should say no, period. And this is done by design to have us operating on a lower frequency because if you only drunk or high, you won't see the war that's being waged on you right in front of your eyes. And if you constantly see black people on TV playing roles of drug dealers, drug addicts, etc., it's done by design. It's subliminally, they want you to know this is what we think about you. You'll never be anything more. And also when you see our black men acting feminine and feminine roles, or our black men and women in same-sex relationships, this is a direct attack on the untrained mind. If you constantly show imagery to an untrained mind individual who don't know they're being attacked and the war is being waged on them, they begin to buy into these type of things. It's all a trick and a tactic by white supremacy to keep our people enslaved. They don't do it physically anymore, so get that out your mind. They enslave people now into thinking, the mental slavery. And that's a bad kind of slavery too, because even if you're free, you're never truly free if you're locked up in your mind. The system of racism, white supremacy is trying to indoctrinate minds all day, every day, 24-7. Everything from big wig companies to music to media. It's everywhere. You just got to tap into that higher self, your third eye, to spot it. Peace.